Life Stallions. What's up, Tina Barber here, back with another video. Today's video is gonna be on a product called Blend Friend, which is gonna be this package right here, guys. Had this in the shop for a few weeks and got a chance to use this on my clients. So before we dive into this right here, you already know what to do. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Get a video a thumbs up if you like the content and follow me on my Instagram page, at Kimi Lifestyle. So without further ado, let's get to that intro. Welcome back to the channel guys. So we are talking about a product called Blend Friend, which I ordered it off their website. I will leave that link in the description below if you are interested in purchasing one of these Blend Friends here. So I had this in the shop for a few weeks, got a chance to also use it on my client, and I'm gonna let you guys know whether we should crown or trash this. Now what Blend Friend is, it is a comb. It's like a one guard. It helps you to do clip over comb and basically blend in your fades with this comb. If you guys seen my last video, I'm talking about the blur guard, um, which that also allows you to help blend in your haircuts without having to use too many guards. And I was really intrigued by this and wanted to know if this really does work because if this works, then it'll knock down your time on your haircuts and you know, time is money. So anything that's gonna give you that leverage and speed up your, your haircuts, I'm all for it, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to my unboxing station, take a look at the comb and everything that comes along with it. So let's get right to it. Here it is, guys, the blend friend. Now it looks like this because I've actually already opened this up. Um, it was like a little pill tap here as well. So, uh, but we're gonna just reopen it up for you guys to take a look at it. Um, so the box is gonna come in all black. You're gonna see the blend friend on the left side of the corner there. Not gonna be really much on the back here. So let's open this up. So as soon as you open this up, you're gonna see some information on the box here. It's gonna say blend friend. You see blending tool, clipper size, three millimeter, number one. It says blend like a pro. You see some little QR code there. And, um, and it says check out our website, tutorials and tips on how to use the blend friend. And here's their website, www.blendfriend.com. And that's gonna be pretty much all the information on this here. And here is the actual comb. It's gonna come in great. Let's take it out. Okay guys, so here is the blend friend comb. The comb is gonna come in all gray. It's gonna be very lightweight, guys. It's hardly any weight to this at all. Um, again, this is gonna be a three millimeter, which is gonna be a size one. As far as the teeth goes, they seem a little flimsy. I'm not sure if this thing will break easily. That could be an issue, not sure. This is gonna be like the flat side of it where you place it on the head. On the front side is where you place your clipper to do your blending. Here is gonna be like the little comb so you're able to comb down the hairs as you're blending. On the handle, you're gonna see the blend friend and you can also see that number one on the very bottom of this handle. On the back of the handle here, you see these little grooves here for better ergonomics. Basically, you wanna just place your hand on the comb like this. Again, with your clipper, you're gonna be blending like so. But that's pretty much all the little details on this comb here. And then as far as anything else on the box here, there's nothing else in here besides this description. So in comparison with this blend friend, here I have a one guard. This comb is supposed to act as a one guard. And this one guard is a three millimeter as well. So you're gonna be blending from a one guard. So when you look on the bottom here, it's really thin and then the teeth widens up as you go higher up. On the very bottom here, it looks like that's gonna be the one. And it goes goes all the way up and it also flicks out and that's pretty much how this thing works as far as how it blends. So before I get into my final thoughts and opinion about this blend friend, check this video out of me actually using this comb on one of my clients.
So for the pros and cons on the blend friend, let's start off with the pros first. First pro I would say is that it's very inexpensive. It's gonna spend around $20 for this. I will leave that link in the description below if you guys are interested in purchasing one of these. Also, I think it's a really cool design. And as far as the ergonomics of this, it fits pretty good in the hand. Okay guys, so now it's time for the cons on the blend friend. My first con would be that it still left a little bit of a weight line when I was using the comb. I just felt like I had to kind of go over it with using a clipper over comb because it just was not getting out that line just using the blend friend, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a blend friend if it really wasn't blending to I will say my standards, that's just my opinion. And so another con for me about this comb is, and it's just a preference, it's really not a big deal with this con. If you are trying to disaffecting this, as far as like put it in your barber side jar, this is too wide so it will not fit in there. So my next con for this will be, when I first started using this, I struggled a lot trying to figure out how to use this. I mean, I know it's pretty simple explanatory, you just put it on the head and then you, you go up with the clipper. And the problem with that I had was you can only blend from a one guard. If I set a guideline using the clipper open and then I blend that out, and then I wanna use this to blend the rest of it, you won't be able to do that. My con is, is that I wish that you can blend it from this, the lever being open instead of having the one guard on there. And so when it comes to crowning or trashing the new blend friend today, guys, we're gonna have to trash the blend friend. Again, it does work. I think that this is more used for like a home thing. So if you're a parent and you wanna cut your kid's hair and you really don't know how to fade, I think this might be more perfect for you to use. But as far as a barbershop, no, I don't think so. Again, just not to my standards, maybe to someone else's standards. Again, this is just my opinion. I personally just didn't really like how the blends were coming out using this comb. So that's gonna be pretty much it as far as the blend friend. If you guys know any other products out there, get in the comment section and let me know. I would love to try them out. I'm all about using different tools and seeing what's out there. And you know, I'm always looking for that advantage as far as doing better, faster fades. If there's a tool out there, let me know guys in that comment section. And that's gonna be a wrap on today's video. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And until then, I'll see you on the next video.